Today on Tight Loops, Tight Lines, we're going moose hunting, and we're taking you with us to Arlock Outfitters. This hunt will be a little bit different. We have our good friend Mike Landry with us, who has come in from Nova Scotia. Terry will be leading this hunt, and I get to step back and watch things unfold, just as you do. So let's go. This is going to be fun. The start of any trip is filled with hope. Mike is looking forward to this trip just as much as we are. I can hear it in his voice. But I can guarantee I am way more excited than anyone else climbing in this helicopter. What an awesome way to get to your fishing or hunting destination. Our Luck Outfitters is located on the main river, just east of Grossmoor National Park at the start of the Northern Peninsula. It's on the island portion of Newfoundland and Labrador. We get a quick tour of the surrounding area before heading to camp. We're on top of the Long Range Mountains. There's some great moose around. The country is mostly bogs and barrens with low spruce or Tuckamore, as it's referred to here in Newfoundland. It's going to make for a very challenging hunt. The main river is a World Heritage Site. It's a scheduled salmon river, and it's surrounded by old-growth boreal forest. It has one of the biggest concentrations of moose on the island portion of Newfoundland. We are greeted by two of our luck's top guides, Scott and Randy. Hi, I'm Mike. Scott, nice to meet you, Scott. How you doing, Mike? Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're, we're excited about being here and uh, looking forward to the hunt here in Newfoundland. Yeah, oh, welcome, welcome to the main river. river. Yeah, Beautiful I'm excited there. to see how things work out. Yeah, we'll lots, a good time. Of, lots of great things in store for us, I hope, and uh, we'll make sure that we have a great hunt. And a weekend yeah. of perfect weather. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that's what we need. Yeah. Perfect, <laughs> weather. perfect, perfect weather, yeah. weather, great yeah. food, great people, yeah. and obviously a great facility. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Sure. These guys have been on the ground guiding all fall. We're going to be relying on their knowledge and expertise to hopefully put us on a nice animal. This is the main camp for Arlock Outfitters. It's one of the few outfitters in Newfoundland that offer both Atlantic salmon fishing in the summer months and moose and bear hunting adventures in the fall. All right, Mike, we're going to get you to try your gun here at 100 yards because a lot of times with the flights, the guns get snapped off, so it's Definitely a good idea to try your rifle to make sure, right? Agree. Okay, yeah, let's do it. No, that was perfect. You're right in the bullseye. I was in the bullseye? Yeah, right in the bullseye. Perfect. We head inside to meet up with Alec Crosby, one of the owners of this family-run business. The lodge is beautifully finished. It's comfortable, welcoming, and it's going to be a great place to spend a few days. Terry and I are so thankful to Alec and the crew for helping us put this hunt together. It's an opportunity of a lifetime, and we're going to enjoy every minute.
we wake to blue skies and one of the first heavy frosts of the season. You may find meat in the grocery store, but you certainly won't find a sunrise like this. While we're gearing up, we notice that a moose walked through the camp while we slept. Looks like a good omen to start the day. While waiting for the helicopter to warm up, Terry can't help but to glass the surrounding area for moose. For Terry, hunting is not a blood sport, but a sport that's in his blood. I think he grew up with binoculars around his neck. We plan to hunt the Leander Lake area, just a short trip north of the camp. This is a new area for Arlock Outfitters and it hasn't seen a whole lot of hunting pressure this year. Randy and Scott have told us there's good moose here, and now it's up to us to find them. We're dropped off in a small valley just north of Leander Lake. We have the whole day to scout and glass and hopefully find a bull that Mike will like. Mike has a bull only license and he's looking for the meat plus a mount for his wall. For some, a mounted animal is often a vivid story, a trigger to the past. You can relive that hunting experience anytime you choose. It's also a reminder of what is possible, igniting a spark for a new adventure. Glassing is quiet and oddly exciting. It's a race to the first antler, scanning through an endless forest, tree by tree, looking for a glimpse of movement in an otherwise frozen landscape. I actually think I see it. This morning, the moose are showing. Mike has already seen a bull that he likes. I saw actually three uh, beautiful cows, and then to my right, I spotted the big bull with his horns uh, shining in the sun. It's absolutely gorgeous. So now we're here stalking him, and uh, Hopefully it all works out successfully. Oh, I see one big bull with two cows lit down about eight or nine hundred yards below us. We're going to try to make our way down, take that draw down and get across the brook. And we should be able to get up close enough that I can maybe call that big bull off those cows and we can get a look at them. You ready? With a big bull in our sights, we head out. When you look at this land and you pick your point, it seems easy. But once you start making your way through that Tuckamore, it becomes a sheer force of will to get from one section to another. Oh. Because of the frost overnight, every step sounds like you're walking on broken glass. The crunch seems like it's echoing off the hills around us. The moose are bedding down, so we have three or four beds right here. Making a lot of noise. 
place. She would call. If I don't know, have a look and see what that bog is. The furthest part of the bog and then down here. I've never made as many zigzags trying to go in a straight line in all my life. We're so lucky to be surrounded by this untouched wilderness, even if there are no straight lines. After three hours, it's warmed up considerably. As we like to say here, the sun is now splitting the rocks. As we weave our way through the maze of Tuckamore, we've had to go higher than expected. And now there's a small pond between us and the moose. We think we're in range, but a quick calculation shifts the focus again to getting closer. The cow call will usually elicit some sort of a response, but this time, not much. While it does get the moose up from their beds, the bull shows no interest in checking us out. We watch as the moose walks over a ridge, and we have no choice but to try and follow. I haven't caught up to a moose dodging away from me yet. I'll we'll try. So which way are we going? This way to the right? Every movement from here on in is extremely calculated.
Terry switches tactics, and it seems the imminent threat from a bull grunt gets him to show. His antlers shine bright in the morning sun, but because of the country, that's all we can see. Against all odds, we try to get closer. This big guy doesn't like the thought of another bull in his territory and he's finally coming to check us out. Here he is. Mike will only get one chance. Good job, Terry. I think we worked for that. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Take your time in checking out. Wow, what a beautiful animal. Yeah, it is a beauty. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh. We did it, partner. What a beautiful we animal. I like the shot. Thanks. God, he's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. You got a trophy. We did, partner. Yeah, look Good at job, how, everyone. Look how big he is. He's huge. He is, he is a big Newfoundland moose. You're not going to get much bigger than that in Newfoundland. No, he's beautiful. And it's late enough that he had a chance to pass along some genes, so. And we worked hard for it. That's wonderful. A good ethical hunt. Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, very good ethical hunt. Okay. Great job. Okay. Now let's get to work. Yeah, let's get at it. Well, obviously, team, it was a great, uh, a great morning of hunt here in Newfoundland, and very successful and well, my longest stock. Job. Thank you. My longest stock ever, Gary. Was yeah, one of my longest too. Yeah. Like it's not often you go that far to get a big bull, but That's it right. was well worth it in yeah. the end. I think we walked what four point five kilometers. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah. You know, when you you come to a place like this and see the beauty and all the animals that are around and the trophy bulls, 
it's certainly well worth the journey. Yeah, there's a lot of big animals here. There's a lot of big. Yeah, Thank you so much. I think yeah. if you want uh, to get a trophy moose in Newfoundland, and our luck outfitters are certainly one of the spots you want to consider. Without, without question. With, great yeah. hosts. And the hospitality is next it's level. Next yeah. to none. Yep. Yeah. Well, Beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. It was fun having thank you. Thank you. Thanks, pal. <laughs> get in for a cup of coffee. Yes. Thanks again to Alec and all of the crew at Arluck Outfitters. You guys went above and beyond to make this an unforgettable adventure. And thanks to all of you at home for joining in on the hunt. <laughs> <laughs>